This is GBIRL, the podcast all about the people and personalities in the business of esports, gaming, and streaming. Here is your host, Bill the Conqueror. We'll do that. And we're going to do that. There we go. We're going to do that because I told, I told, uh, I told this person that I would, um, I would protect her, her, her identity as, as much as possible. So she has every right and every freedom to tell me, Bill, I don't want to ask, answer that question. <laughs> so here we go. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you doing, Stephen? Hey, how's it going? I'm doing all right. Good. Good to hear. Good to hear. I'm just making sure we get everything set up. There we go. All right, cool. Good evening. Thank you very much for uh, for making time for me today. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. We're going to play a little Destiny and chill out and have a have a conversation about things, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Also, apparently I'm pretty quiet. You might want to check. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm adjusting. Sorry. Yep. Okay, uh, that works. Adjusting levels. Yeah, there we go. Ah, right, cool. Okay. All right, let's let's see what we can do. Let's have a good time. Yeah, I'm I'm pumped. Just your call, baby. Okay, so my limited knowledge about this game. <laughs> fun fact, fun fact, my limited knowledge when I started this game. Yeah. Uh, so I got this, I got a, like a gift copy or something, but I got it right. for Forsaken. Okay. So I, I went straight to, I guess you could say the end game or like the DLC. Mm -hmm. And I, all I knew, like I didn't really know anything, but I played this mission and I, I was playing with my friends and I was like, hey, I got this yellow weapon, like, what does that mean? <laughs> and they, they were like, oh, that means it's an exotic, like, yeah. which one is it? And it's the first time we've done that mission, just once straight through, and I'm like, oh, it's called Lord of Wolves. <laughs> and they were like, that's the best PvP weapon in the game. And I was it like, is. best player gets Lord of Wolves first try. That's right. <laughs> There's, there's, there are, there are numerous stories of people who go through raids for like the first time ever, like, the, like their very first raid, and they get the one weapon everybody wants out of the raid the first time, and then, uh, and then uh, the people who have been grinding this raid for you know maybe 10, 15, 20 times still don't have it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's like, I am never going to be a Sherpa ever again. Ever. <laughs> oh, all right. So I'm going to grab some, uh, grab some, some, some uh, uh, bounties from, for, 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 from Gambit. And then we could probably start off with a little bit of Gambit. Yeah, sure. We'll go from there. I'll, uh, I'll try and figure out what's going on. <laughs> No worries. It's it's a bit much because I didn't realize like when you start the game right. at already at the DLC and you just kind of don't really know what's going on. It's right. Like, hmm. So so don't feel bad because because I came in at so I came in just before Forsaken, mm -hmm. and so so Forsaken dropped like I want to say like. Maybe five or six weeks, um, week, weeks um, after I got the game, and I still hadn't figured out all the ins and outs of the game and how to, you know, how to how to stack perks the right way and how to, you know, how to how to uh, maximize my loadout. It it took me literally three weeks, three or four weeks to weeks to understand the the whole concept between the whole concept behind the arc void and, and, and solar singes. I had no idea. Okay. I had no freaking clue. <laughs> let me let me let me tell you. Let me go check right now. So on Steam, if I look at my so game, uh, my play time is currently nine hours. So that oh. gives you some. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. We're yeah. So so so, so, so if you go to the far side of the tower and go down to the down to the down to the drifter. I'm just gonna pick up some bounties there, and we'll go put some, put some, put some regular gambit. Okay, I'll just, I guess I'll just talk to everybody. <laughs> Alright, so, so, 
uh, 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 Someone in my friend group sent me the link, and I legitimately thought it was a joke. Like I thought it was a joke site at uh -huh. first, because yeah. it's it's definitely something that's very memeable. Like even the people in the community, like oh, yeah. they all meme on it. Uh, all of us do. Mm -hmm. um, but I checked it out, and I was like, ah, like it seems, it seems okay. Like mm -hmm. not the worst concept in the world. The only the issue I had with it at the time when it first I, I don't want to say debuted, but when it first came out, the website was very bad. Like everything about the website was bad. Um, it's still not a great design as far as like they keep changing the di design. Right. But overall, just the entire site was sort of, I guess you could say, like, janky. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't, like, I, I just wanted to see where it would go. Like, I was very curious to see what would happen. But I, I so I did, a few of my friends and I, we signed up for the site. Right. And we ended up hanging out, because they have a Discord server, and we would hang out in there. But um, at the time when they first started, there wasn't a lot of moderation, and so you had a lot of unsavory characters and trolls and stuff like that. Right. Um, so it was an overall a very unpleasant experience for the first month or so that it came out, and okay. I that, so I stopped. Like I didn't use it. I didn't end up using it or doing anything with it. Okay. Um, but then maybe I would say like April-ish. By mm -hmm. April, when I I went back in and I I looked at it again. And it seemed mildly improved. Uh, they had much, a much higher standard of moderation. They had actually mods set up and stuff like that. And people had been using it for a certain amount, so they had kind of sorted out the rough patch or like the main issues. And I, so that's when I started actually using it. Okay. Um, was probably in April, but I had had an account for a while, but I only started actually using it in April. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so was there like so so, so 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 was there like some initial fear behind you know uh, what am I getting myself into here? Um, not really fear. No, I don't think there's much to be afraid of. Like, it was just unpleasant more than fear. I would say because there were genuinely like there was once in the server when it first started. Mm -hmm. Because it was pretty much free reign, like anyone could anyone could join the voice chat, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. And just all kinds of insults, like racial slurs, uh, people telling you, like you know, you should kill yourself, right. that kind of thing. But obviously, it's not the people who were using the site; it's people who were just kind of, you know, mm -hmm. just there to cause trouble. Um, and it, like, I wasn't afraid of it. I was just like, hey, like, I don't need this. I don't, I like, I really don't need this. But then afterwards, they kind of cleaned up the server. They cleaned up. The site and they i figured out like dealing with mods and stuff right uh, met a couple mods and i was like yeah okay i suppose this like i could do this and then because we were all in quarantine uh i think that's also a big contributor so a lot of my friends we signed up for it but we didn't really do it because we had other stuff to do mm -hmm. but then once we were all in quarantine we were all stuck inside all day anyways we were like well might as well you know right right hmm. interesting Okay. So, 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 so when you first got in, got in, there's the obvious trolls, the obvious, obvious people being stupid, and and you and you, and you stuck with it, right? Uh, yeah, I kind of left. Like, I didn't interact really for a while. Like, I just kind of sat it out, and I was like, I'm not gonna use this because I had. Uh, other things going on, like work to take care of. Mm -hmm. But when quarantine started, I was like, well, I can look back into it and it seemed a lot more pleasant and I guess a little bit more wrangled. It was no longer kind of free free range. Okay, well, the, 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 that's actually good to know, is that the, the people uh, uh, behind the concept are like, hey, you know, we have to put the effort into getting getting, 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 the, getting the, the dumb people out, you know? Uh, it's definitely, I would say it's definitely mostly a community effort as far as the modding is. Okay. I I know a few, I've met a few mods, and I know, like, I have one who's very responsive, and then I've met others. Like, they're trying to increase the amount of mods that they have, and generally if I've ever had an issue with somebody, 
and it's like once it gets reported, it's generally taken care of, and I don't ever hear from it again. So good. Okay, good to hear. Good to hear. All right, then let's go play some play some gambit. Let's go play some gambit. Yeah, sure. Let's play some gambit. All right. All right, cool. Gambit it is. So I so I'm not sure if you've. As far as this game mode, if you've if you've played it very much, uh, you, uh, you shoot the ads, they'll drop these white triangles. You pick up the triangles and you go to the bank and deposit them. And if you deposit them in, in, in uh, it, it, if you deposit five or more at any one, at any given point, it 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 uh, drops a drops a blocker uh, uh, on the other side. I think I think I played this one a couple times. I get the basic idea: just collect okay. stuff, deposit it. Right. Perfect. Yeah, first one to collect the most, and and then yeah. if you get a certain amount, you can like drop in someone on the other team, and they can drop in on yours as well. Right. Yeah. So in this one, it's the first first to seventy five moats will summon the uh, boss, and then and then every twenty five moats deposited, somebody can can um invade. Okay. So, All right. That's how it works. So, well, cool. I also have no idea what weapons I have on right now. I think I like earned a couple the last time I played, but I will have to double check my gear. Okay. Take, 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 take a look at what you got here. You got a sidearm that is solar, which is good, and then you have an auto rifle and uh, 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 a grenade launcher. Okay. Cool. I think this is just objectively this is probably the best I've got. Okay. Actually this one This one's not bad. Um I need to swap out a few things while I'm at it. So so it's uh, uh, so it so, so, so it seems to be working working through the site for site for, for a couple months uh, uh, What's an, so when you started versus where you where you are right now? What's your what's your average? I guess I guess uh guess guess uh guess your average workload like there? Workload? I mean, first thing I would I would definitely not right. describe it as working for the site. Ready I would say it's more of a today. the site is more of a oh, freelance bro. platform. It okay. takes a small percentage of what you make. It's not a it's really not a big percentage, but there's. Legally speaking, we are not, we, nobody on the site works for the site. Okay. There is no contractual obli obligation at any time. Okay. Um, which is, and it's, it's not like that's a good or a bad thing. That's just something that, you know, that's just how it is. Yep. And I think I prefer it that way. So they don't really have any obligation to, they don't really have any obligation to cover you, but at the same time, you don't have any obligation to cover for them, if that makes sense. Like yeah. you're, com you're completely free to do as much or as little as you like, and I right. think so. That's why I can't. I can't really say that I have a consistent or steady workload, I suppose, because it's okay. just based on is that is it a busy week for me? Right. Yes. Then I probably won't be using it as much. Or if it's not a busy week, I might go uh, look for more people who want to play. Right. Or also, how do I put it? There's, even though people are on the site, they may not be active for certain days. Right. For example, like if, if you were looking for more people to play with, like if I wanted to really find people to play with, it's not mm -hmm. really an issue. Okay. Because they have, they have a Discord server where people hang out and, you know, like you can find plenty of people that way. But overall, it's just kind of, by chance, I guess, just whoever mm -hmm. so happens to feel like playing, and if I have free time, then yeah, then I'll, I'll do an order or two. Okay. Uh, but for me, I don't, I don't have it as uh, it's not a consistent or or steady form of okay. earning it. If you will. It's more of just like a freelance kind of thing, like a, a thing on the side. I guess like a side hustle, if you would. Okay. Okay. So, 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 I guess from a business standpoint, is it, is it? Is it something that you see that you could like 
it, uh, depending on, I guess, depending on, uh, uh, on the way that you approach it, I mean, you, 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 you make it into like a, uh, 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 a full-time thing? I really don't think so, because the amount that it is per game, unless you are, say, like, so, for some people who are very high ranking in a game, usually one game, usually it's like one game that they specialize in. Right? Yeah. Let's say they do League and they're, I don't know, they're Challenger, they might offer coaching services for, okay. you know, a, for a larger amount. But if we're being honest, the, the amount per game that people charge uh, is significantly like lower than minimum wage so this right. is not something that's sustainable in any way unless you were to be some kind of i don't know an influencer or if you were like a pro level i think and even so it'd be difficult and especially even if you were there's no reason like if you were at that level and you wanted to coach you don't need to go through this site this site just makes it convenient to find people who are in the same kind of interest area as you um to, right. And it's, it's useful, but I would definitely, I highly doubt that it would be at all sustainable for an actual, okay. uh, in an actual income. Interesting. Because it, 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 I was, I was, uh, 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 checking through the site, I'm like, yeah, you know, I mean, if you're getting like $5 a game or $3 a game, you would really have to play a long time to really make anything thing serious out of them. I've seen, I've seen people who are coaches and people who do in Destiny 2. There's there's a, there's a concept called uh, 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 carries and for, for, for uh, certain activities. You know, I've seen people who 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 who, who, who do those sort of things too. So. Yeah, I would definitely say that, even so, um, I think, because the, the thing about the site is that most people who are trying to play, or most people that want to play, or order somebody, like, they're not, most of the time, I found they're not really looking for, they're not looking for a coach most of the time. Right. And if you, you are, then you know, you know where to look for it. Right. Uh, most people just want somebody to play with, or they can't find somebody to play with, or they just want a convenient... Like, they just want to conveniently find somebody to play with for a little while. Hmm. And it's not, it's not really... So, so, so would you, would you say it's, it's like a... Would you say that it's sort of like an, like a paid, paid, um, paid um, hell FG thing? A paid what? A paid, uh, so, uh, so, so, uh, so there's a, uh, 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 so as far as in Destiny 2, there's a thing called, called, uh, uh, LFG, which is, which is, uh, which is, which is looking for groups, and, uh, okay. uh, and there's, there's, there's whole, there's whole, there's whole, there's, there's whole, whole Discord servers of, of people who just want to play the game and you can go and say hey you know I, I want somebody who is at this light level that can do you know uh, for this this activity and so basically this just feels like to me that you know I, I show up on your side and if I want you know somebody to play uh, play League of Legends who's a who's a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a jungler uh, uh, of a certain 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 of uh, uh, I could pay for that. You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm uh, kind of. I think the big draw is more. Okay. Is is more of the company aspect because. Got it. Obviously, like you're going to be in voice chat, um, and even if you find somebody, let's say, like you find somebody on a Discord, you don't like if they're just joining. I guess your fire team or your league squad it's right. not necessarily about the company i think in that case it's more like we need a jungler for this this thing right and some it, it's a mixture of that and the company i okay. would say okay because uh for for some games there's significantly fewer people who play Crap. and Crap. They're, there they're multiplayer games so they're not very fun on right. them. and so those are also pretty frequently like you know, you're just looking for someone to play with. Right. 
Because I've heard- so what I've heard is that... Let's say if somebody wanted to... Um, oh, we need to read that. Hang on. If somebody wanted to play a game normally, and right. it's for a community that- it, let's say it's not very active. Right. Um, there might be- there might be forums, and you can post on a forum, but, mm -hmm. you know, the, the complaint I heard was that, oh, if we if we post on a forum, we can find somebody to play with, but you have to wait probably a day, and then you have to message them back, and then right. figure everything out. Versus on uh, the site, it's a lot more convenient, it's a lot faster, it's right. just a lot easier. Right. Okay. Interesting. Looks like you got the first step on a new on it and an exotic quest. Yeah, I saw that. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but yeah, you'll get a a a a a gun called Malfeasance. Okay, I think I've heard of that. I've definitely heard somebody talk about that on one of the times I played. Yeah, yeah. Let me clean up my bounties here real quick. So, yeah, no problem. so, 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 tell me about your first, I guess, first, first job. Is it, was it, was it fun? Was it nervous? What uh, 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 was that like? Uh, I would say my first order, it was a league order. Mm -hmm. And they didn't even want to play normals or ranks. They just want to play A rounds. So I was mm -hmm. like, that's fine. Um, but we were just playing ARAMs, and he just was somebody who... How do I put it? 
he seemed very nice, and mm -hmm. there wasn't really anything, you know, off. It was just he was very shy, and uh, I think was trying to. Basically, the, the the gist of it was, they were very shy, and they wanted to get more comfortable with talking to people. Okay. And especially, uh, I would assume, a lot of people. I think a lot of people on the site are probably introverts mm -hmm. and don't necessarily go out <clears throat> to large social functions as much, and so this is kind of a one way to get social interaction. And it was fine. It was it was a good time. Um, okay. They, yeah, they really they were they were polite. They were respectful. They didn't really they didn't cause any trouble. Okay. Uh, and then you know I played with them a few more times after that, and they seem to be doing all right. Okay. Interesting. So. So, so, so in your time doing this, whoa, 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 uh, a percentage of people are kind, respectful, nice to you versus versus being a, a toxic. Um, I'd say there's definitely a range. There's, I would say, most of the people who are, if they are willing to order and you know mm -hmm. actually go through the system in the way it's intended most of the time i haven't had issues most mm -hmm. of the time um <clears throat> percentage wise i think most of the people i interact with i'd say it's like a it's maybe 60 40 where like 60 percent is kind of like something maybe not terrible but it's just like something's kind of off Mm -hmm. Or they message you and they're not necessarily all that respectful. Um, but the 40% that I do end up interacting with that are, I would say, more positive or like I gen genuinely enjoy playing with, it's more of a thing where if I can tell when they message me off right off the bat that it's not going to go well, <laughs> right. myself and most other people on the site just won't continue or like they won't take an order does that make sense yeah yeah so it's so so basically going back to what you what you said a little bit earlier you're not an employee an employee you're in an independent contractor and so i know we're not even i wouldn't say it's even legally speaking there's there is no legal connection or obligation to the site uh, or vice versa. So okay. really, it will, whoever, if you don't feel like, if you have uh, hundreds of people mm -hmm. just hypothetically, you know, asking for orders, you have no obligation to accept any of them. Right. Uh, okay. And so most, most people I know, especially a lot of the, the girls, if they can tell that from the initial messages, like this person might be troublesome, mm -hmm. they just won't take the order they just don't they're not gonna okay. deal with it and it doesn't it doesn't need to be uh, malicious or anything like that it's just like nah like they'll just take another order for some with someone who's more pleasant or mm -hmm. who will genuinely you know be respectful right right so okay so so so, so what are some are some are some um, are some um, indicators to you when they message you or uh, want to or want you to you to play with them that, that, that perhaps they're the field. That they're not they're not going to be somebody that you want to uh, uh, play with. Well, the <laughs> oh boy, there's a lot. The first one, <laughs> the first one is if they keep in mind. Okay, keep in mind on. Let me explain. So on the site, obviously, it's very for anyone who has not visited the epels.gg site. It is very clear what you are getting into, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's not it's not that hard with all the the UI, it's very straightforward to right. most people. Is that oh hey, here's somebody, they you know, if you order them for a, for a small price, they will play play with you, set aside time and uh, you know, play a few games or whatever. But you would be very surprised at the amount of people who will message on the site through the site and, you know, ask if you want to play, but then be like, oh, we're looking for someone who will play for free. Oh. It's like, well, huh. so yeah, that's the first thing is if, if they, and a lot of the times we're like, oh, you know, sorry, we were just looking for someone to play for without paying. 
Right. It's like, well, that's fine, right? Like, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think you're on the wrong site for that. Like, I, I think it's pretty obvious mm -hmm. that that's what, that's the expectation. Right. Um, and you would be surprised even on, I guess even on the Discord server, like a lot of people. And then uh, I've had people who will insult you basically for the fact that you are charging. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty freak one. It's like, oh, oh, or if they, there's a lot who, there's a couple who would compliment my appearance, which again is fine, and it wasn't, it wasn't like malicious. But they would compliment my appearance, right, and then expect oh. me to play with them, and then if I don't, and I'm like, hey, I, I have to take orders, they would get malicious and then like insult you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let me think of other things. If they immediately off the bat are, I guess, if they're if they're just not respectful or they they message you in a way where it's clear that they don't they don't really have any respect for you or they address you kind of like very colloquially as soon as they message you. That's kind of another right. another thing. Hmm. Um, and then I'm sure I'm sure you can. Imagine yeah. there's all kinds that are just, it's it's like that's the uh, red flag, like just not gonna. Yeah. Right, right. But we have. I'm pretty sure I know a decent amount. I don't know if it's a lot, but I know a decent amount of the girls on the site. Yeah. Uh, I've met a decent amount of them, and most of the uh, most of them tend to be supportive with each other, and we, we kind of watch out for each other as far as like, hey, this okay. person not the most pleasant. Uh, right. Sometimes people I've heard someone would order, because it's per game, right? Right. So they would order per game on Overwatch, but then they would set up a custom game and make it go as long as possible. Uh, and yep. then And then if you try to leave at a reasonable time, they would like complain and like rate you lower. So they're kind of like, yeah, not, and obviously we're gonna be like, hey, this person, right. watch out for this person. You probably don't wanna play with them. Cause most people, most people who just wanna play with company don't do that right. uh and i i haven't had an experience like that before but okay. you know some people do <laughs> so there's all kinds yeah so 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 in the time that you've been doing this have you uh, are there uh, uh are there uh 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 uh, 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 uh cultural differences like somebody who's from who's from great britain versus somebody who's from brazil absolutely that's a great question so because of Partially because of my terrible sleep schedule. Right. Partially because of my travel uh, recently. I was in kind of an off time zone, and then coupled with the fact that I was staying up to disgusting hours. Right. I, you get a lot of people from other countries, and that's actually a kind of positive surprise that I found, is I've met a lot of people from other countries, and it made me want, or it made me more curious about the rest of the world, and made me yeah. want to travel more. And I've oh, okay. kind of learned a bit about different places just from playing with different people, um, but there, I guess as far as cultural differences, none, none that are serious, I would, I would say there's no serious cultural differences, it's just more like if, if you're in a lobby and you're playing with some person or people, mm -hmm. and sometimes it'll be like, oh, I just did this thing, it's like, oh, you can do that, like, for example, I think in Amsterdam, um, certain recreational drugs are legal, or or at the very least, they're very yeah. decriminalized, right? Yes, yeah, they are. And, and for someone who's in America, it's like, wow, I can't believe that, you know, that's allowed there, like, that's crazy. And then they'll be yeah. like, oh yeah, like, this is how it is, and like, <laughs> they described, they described it as, not the city that never sleeps, but the city that passes out. <laughs> that's a good one, I like that. That's actually pretty good. So there's some of that, and then I haven't had any like serious, genuine cultural differences. It's more like they'll say something or like a colloquial phrase, and I will. It won't mean the same thing here. Right. Uh, my favorite one is, or there's other words like instead of gas, it's petrol. Yeah. Instead of. Yep. It is. That's true. What? I'm trying to think of some others. Instead of slippers, it's. Like some other word, just little things like that, um, that are kind of amusing. They're more so amusing than anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. So like, 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 yeah. I mean, it, there are there are various there are various 
very, very cultural differences for, um, you know, and that certain words mean certain things. And, and like, for example, in, in this country, something is, uh, I have friends down south who, who that if you, if you want to, want to have a soda pop, it's, uh, everything's Coke. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it, yeah, there's those, it, there's those regional differences. There's the differences of, uh, uh, you know, uh, of globally and things like that. So yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, it, what it sounds like to me is that, at, at least from what you've said so far, what it sounds like to me is that, you know, for the most part, things are pretty above board. You, you haven't really had any problems. And if somebody is being toxic or mean to you, then, 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 then you have the right to say no. Or, yes. So, so for example, if somebody, if you're doing something with somebody, and, and, and when they first talk to you, person seems fine no, no big deal right, yes just, that's happened yeah yeah the, the person seems nice but then they get you into a game and they turn into a big jerk if you just like said okay you know what i'm out later you know yeah um i have and <clears throat> there's like yeah, it's okay to do that i think there's even what is it it's like a refund i'm pretty sure there's a refund function but okay. uh, most of the time you just the cons you can leave contact much like hey refund this person or just refund yep. the order and that's it you don't you have no obligation to deal with them as long as you on your okay. end as long as you remain professional which is just like right. you know you can't obviously you can't blow up at them right it's, uh, i i'm always honest right whereas like if, if i don't like something i'm like well i don't appreciate that but i, I don't start swearing at them or anything like that. yeah um, yeah. Okay. Well, good. So, so it, you know, I, I I find that encouraging that the site actually says to you, you know, hey, you have no obligation to to hang around people that are being being that way to you. Yeah, and and most mods, I like if I've ever had an issue of contact with the mod, they do what they can to help, and then also um, other people are often very willing to like support you in terms of like, oh, hey, if you're having an issue with this, you can go to this person, or like, this is what you should do, etc. Right. Wow, yeah, nice it's, shot. It's yeah, well, good, good. Okay, so it, so it, it, so the people that have, have, uh, the people that are, that are building the site, supporting the site, they, they, um, they, they, they understand the, the whole, whole uh, a, a, a gaming culture, and they realize, you know, if we don't take care of the people who are doing this for us, it, we're not going to have a, 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 a sort of business for very long, you know? I would say, I would say it's hard to tell. I actually don't have a lot of direct contact with um, okay. the people in charge of the site, but I know the mods, which there's more of the community aspect, has definitely been right. very helpful, positive. Well, good. Uh, okay, good to hear. And mean... yeah, the mods, mods have all been very supportive. I've never, I haven't had a bad experience with the mods. Sometimes they get busy, but you know, I guess like it can't really be helped. Um, aside from that, I don't think I've had yeah. an issue. here for this <laughs> it's not, okay it's all right barely tickling these enemies yeah it's all right no worries i'll work with what i got it's fine so 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 i assume that you have friends in your life that aren't gamers uh all right yes this is correct okay so when they found out that you were doing this what'd they say um, well, actually, it's fun to ask because as far as friends go, I'd say most of my friend group 
or like actually I have a couple friends that we were, we are always on the site, so it's um it's <laughs> I don't think I've not that it's like a secret, but it's just not something I hmm. hang on, let me <laughs> most most of my friends, even if they're not into gaming in general, they are generally pretty hip with online culture. Yeah. In a sense. And so, for people my age and my age range, it's it's something we make jokes about, and like all of us will joke about it. But it's not something that they don't understand. <clears throat> that we said. Right. Like it's it's, <clears throat> it's something that they pretty easily get the idea of. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't feel like it's a very complicated concept either. So no. Um, and just because because the people who aren't into gaming that I know. Right. Um, probably wouldn't be that interested in the goings on uh, on the site anyways. So I just, it's never really come up in a arena outside of like people my age or people who kind of understand the internet slash gaming space, even if they're not right. super active in it. Um, yeah, I haven't really had an issue. I haven't had any issues. Most of my friends are either on the site or they're, they don't really care that I'm on it. Right. Right. Generally supportive too. They're just like, yeah, whatever. You just go have a good time. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> so uh, uh, before the lockdown, uh, uh, what'd you do? <clears throat> before lockdown, uh, I was taking classes. Uh, I was studying for school, and okay. then partially during lockdown, but school is basically out for now. So. Right. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. So, 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 as far as the, as far as the conversations that you have between, between yourself and the other people who, who do jobs through the site, uh, what sorts of, uh, 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 of conversations do you have with the guys? Um, so what kind of conversations do I have with people who have ordered me or people who are on the site no so 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 so, so, so if you go to epal.gg there's there's mm -hmm. there's guys guys yeah, and girls on the right. site right, right. so yes, so 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 i guess a, a a better question would be have you shared or have any of the guys shared their 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 experiences with you um Actually, let me check that right now because I do know one. Okay. But I need to. So I know one person that's a guy that takes orders from the site. Okay. However, it's never really come up. I don't think. Like, cause what? No, I don't think. I don't think it's ever really come up. It's not super. Like I, I would assume it's very similar to our to my experiences. Hmm. Um, well, I can't find them at the moment, but okay. But yeah, it's not it's not super different. I mean, it's different, but it's not different to the point where um, I've had to inquire about it. Oh, I guess I probably will in the future, but I just don't know as many today. guys on the site as I do Scorn girls. Approaching. Okay. I mostly I mostly interact with girls from the site. Mm -hmm. So so from the uh so for, from the people that you that you've talked to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, what's the most I guess the most mo most most popular game uh, uh, on the site? League, it's league. Okay. League is, I would say, one hundred percent. Okay. The most popular. It's, it's because almost everyone has it or has played it. Um, right. Not everyone enjoys it, but uh, everyone's played it. And the highest amount, or the the people with the highest orders, or like the highest number of orders, are all I would willing to bet it's all uh, because I've seen it and I I've kind of right. seen how things progress. It's not it's not a bad thing, but it's just that's right. that's it. It's like okay. And to be to be fair, it's a really popular game. It's it's not like it's unwarranted. It's just everyone right. has it, everyone plays it. Okay, so so since since the league is the most popular, is it the most 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 toxic? 
Yes, it is the most toxic game. <laughs> it's an incredibly toxic uh, game and community, but most of the time, if you're if you're going out of your way to order someone for their company, I think most of the time people uh, people haven't been toxic in game uh, as far as I've experienced. Okay. <laughs> I mean, as far as the random strangers you're playing with, yes, but as far as the people you're playing with, usually no. I, I haven't run into that yet. Interesting. Interesting. Five. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. I got twelve. Nice. Okay, thirteen. Yeah. Okay, let's go to pause it. On a, uh, I guess on a weekly basis, what percentage of, uh, of days do you work? Is it like a, do you, do you decide one day, hey, you know, uh, I'm kind of bored or uh, 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 I want some extra, uh, extra cash? I mean, how's that work for you? Um, I would say, if I were to guess, maybe like every other day, um, some days, I have work to do some days I'm doing other things right. but I kind of alternate and then I'll take maybe one or two orders if I have free time right. uh, and then and then go and then the next day I'll go back to doing stuff I, I usually don't take extensive orders or I don't take large orders most of the time. okay I hear you uh, I mean I mean obviously like it's not necessarily playing the game for a long time. It's just like I, you know, if it if it if it's gonna be more than two or three games, I probably am gonna have to eat or like, <laughs> you know, take care of something right. in between. It it just doesn't make sense. Interesting. Um, okay. To go on forever, like you, it just doesn't work. Right. But yeah, I'd say about every other day uh, is a decent, a decent generalization of how it goes. Okay. People that you play with, you know, uh, 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 guys versus versus girls. I've had one girl. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. So you can, out of what 40, 40 some odd orders. Okay. Which isn't, which isn't even including like just people that I've met randomly. Right. Um, just for interactions, it's one, one out of that, whatever that percentage would be. Interesting.
to, 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 do you think that there's an opportunity uh, 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 through the site to <coughs> to, 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 to appeal to to, um, to to women? Yes, there is. There are uh, there are definitely guys who are successful. Shall we say there are definitely huh. guys who find success on the site? I would say it's no contest. Probably a lot harder for guys. Um, and I mean, considering that most of the time, it's like if if you're a woman and you want to play with someone, and you're you're gonna have the option, a lot of them, yeah, they'll probably try and play with a guy. But at the same time, you know, if you look at gaming as a whole, it's not a 50-50 split, right. right? Like, it's just by nature going to be more difficult. Right. <sighs> We're gonna lose this round. I just made a really bad decision. Nice scene to finish. Nice scene to finish. So, so, what would it take to have more, more, um, more, 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 uh, 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 uh women, uh, I'll use the site for, for, as, as a, as a community thing. As a community thing? Well, like, I mean, uh... like, so, 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 so for more women to be, uh, the ones who, who, um, who, who, uh, who, uh, who, uh, who, who seek, who seek people to, people to play with, or, uh, I guess more, uh, a women, 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 women clients, I guess is a better word. Um, actually, that's, so, a lot of women on the site who do look, or who do order, mm -hmm. uh, some of them will order other women uh, as well. Really? Um, okay, that's interesting. Yes. Well, like I said, I had the one order. Yeah. I would say, I don't know, I don't know what it would take to make it more appealing. I don't think there's... I think it's more of a numbers game, honestly. I don't think it's even... I think it's just there's not a large enough group of women. I just don't think there's enough people that are actively seeking out company in a game. Especially when... To be completely honest, like, if I'm playing a game like... Let's say, because I know Rainbow Six is on the site. Let's say I'm playing a game like Rainbow Six. Right. Um, if I'm realistically, let's say I want to play Rainbow Six, I only play multiplayer games or I only play competitive games anyways if I have a friend to play with. So I already probably have at least like one friend that I'm going to be playing with because it's not like I don't want to play a competitive game mm -hmm. on my own because it's very unpleasant in voice chat like I don't use voice chat in competitive games or in games in general just because it can get very unpleasant very quickly and I just don't okay. want to deal with it so most of the time you don't want to you don't really want to speak or interact with people thinking you're female it's just more trouble than it's worth most of the time especially in a group of randos okay hmm. interesting interesting okay and so 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 to, do you get people who place orders and want that have have they have 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 a strange 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 uh, special uh, 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 requests for you uh, I'd say as far as that goes sometimes there's just not a game on the site that's available uh, and okay. so or 
I'd, I'd say yes. There's been a lot of strange requests. Most of them just get immediately reported to the mods, and then... Okay. Yeah, it's kind of the last you hear from them. Okay. Um, okay. Sometimes it's like... How do I put it? Sometimes they seem okay, but then some of them will take it as an excuse to be disrespectful or like because you know because they paid for you they're like oh it's okay to be disrespectful right um sometimes sometimes people will request or like they'll order then they won't tell you that they want you to join like a group call or something and then uh. it's like okay now i have to <laughs> now i have to go and meet all these other people that i was not anticipating and it, okay. so for those it's like very very hit or miss sometimes they're very cool and it's just a chill group of friends and sometimes it's like i don't really want to deal with this um kind of thing hmm. interesting okay okay but yeah the reason that there is an e-chat option is because a lot of people would just go on and be like hey um they just want to talk like they don't even want to play and so the site actually added in the e-chat option really? because of that. Yes. So it didn't used to be there before. It was all gaming, strictly right. gaming related. And then we did have, there was VR chat, but that is also technically like game. It's like you boot something up, but but a lot of people just want to talk. And so there is an e-chat option now for that. Okay. So Because before, before what people would do is if they got an order that was like, hey, I just want to talk, they'd be like, uh... All right, just order like a game and then just count it as that. But now there's a separate category, so it stays sorted, I suppose. Okay. So, whoa, 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 whoa. so, so, uh, uh, of the, so uh, of the of the orders that you've done, whoa, 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 uh, 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 a percentage are are uh, are gameplay versus uh, 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 chat. Uh, actually, let me check. I have a rough indicator. Okay. No, actually, I would say um, I have around 18, let me see, 18, 10, 3, yeah, I'd say definitely majority, I'd say like 80, 80% 80 are games but then of those they're not serious games as in people will play and they're because okay let's say i get an order from somebody and they've beat the game they've maxed out everything right <laughs> they're obviously not looking for somebody to carry them through the experience they're just looking for company right so even if we're playing it's like a very chill gameplay session you know what i mean yeah um yeah. and then of those that have been just chatting i'd say probably like four or five maybe out of 40 something huh. um okay. but a lot of the time it's it's just it's very chill um for the most part interesting so so mm -hmm. so so is there like a different rate structure when you're playing playing a, 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 a game versus chatting yeah so for I would I would say I would count VR chat. All if right, I count VR chat, it's like right. maybe like ten are just chatting because VR Let's chats you just kind of sit around and it's just a three D chat room. Right. Um, You're gonna love this. I kind of I mean you can change everything on the you can change your rates per game. Okay. But to be honest, like I would say. What most people do is for if it's a chat, they'll set a rate for per half hour. That's just generally okay. That's just what I've seen. It's like per half hour because usually it's like a half hour is a, a game. Like if you just average all the games out, like it takes about a half hour for a game, anyways, for other games. So. Right. Usually, if it's if it's a game that I'm if I'm not as good at, I usually don't have it but if it's if it's a game that i actually like then 
then I'm willing to play more of it, I guess. Right. Or if someone asks, I'll be like, hey, uh, I'll play... I can play a while. Or if it's a game that I'm not really into, I'll be like, I can play one. One right. or two. Okay, gotcha. Interesting. Uh, uh, what's your favorite uh, 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 game to play on the site? Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter World is hands down my favorite game to play. It really? Is, yes, I would okay. say. For me. It's okay. not for most people. Um, there aren't actually a lot of people on that category. Okay. I think I'm currently... yeah. But there aren't a, there aren't a lot of people that play the game com in comparison to something like League. And it's not as popular or in the hot seat as Valorant is right now, obviously. Right. Like, Valorant is currently... When Valorant came out, there were a lot of people looking for Valorant. However, there were a lot of issues with <laughs> There were a lot of issues with Valorant. Right. Um, but personally, my favorite's Monster Hunter World because I don't play that game solo anyways. Like, majority of these games, I don't play solo, so... Right. It's a reason to boot up the game, if you will. No, oh, crap. Uh. Invaders out. You'll get them next time. I really don't like in this game is the the immune stuff. Like I, yeah. just, I don't like that. It drives me nuts I don't too. think it's good. It drives me nuts too. Unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. I, I lost on that first in, first invade. I lost eleven votes. Mm -hmm. So we were yeah, that's, <coughs> we were that's a big, big, big ouch. ouch. Yeah, So, from the time you started to this point, I mean, you, you said you've done 40 jobs so far. From the time, from that time, the time your first job, your 40th job. What are some things that you learned uh, about, I guess, about about people, about the business? About the business of it? Um, yeah. I would say, ah. Uh... I feel like I have a decent, not a great, but I feel like I have a decent handle on handling business, at least remaining professional in the face of people who may not be professional. Right. At right. least, like, I don't, I try not to take things too seriously is the first thing. Like, right. I try right. to, or I don't take it personally because I genuinely don't care what um, the, most people that I don't know on the internet. Right like have to, to say about it um and i don't i try i don't be mean about it or anything i'm just like if, if somebody's causing trouble you have no obligation to deal with them i suppose and i know what i will and will not put up with uh, right right I, um i'd say as far as learning like just don't you don't need to put up with anything you don't need to put up with is but 
I think that's that's something I've always kind of gone by. Um, as far as learning about the business of it, I'd say it's good to have people that are supportive of you. Right. Like, I mean, obviously, but people in the community who understand your situation and, like, my friends who do it or, like, other, especially other girls because right. people, people can be rude, people can be exploitative, and so just being able to say, like, hey, if you have an issue, you tell me and we can go talk to somebody and we'll get it taken care of is right. very important. Right. Um, but that's for, that, I think that goes for any kind of endeavor, really. Sure. Um, but that's been the main thing, is just find people who are going to be in your corner. Uh, not in a dramatic way, but just people who, if there's an issue, they right. can help you resolve it, you know? Oh dear. Hang on. Yeah. I gotta deal with this guy too. I do kind of like the movement in this game. Now that I'm getting acclimated to it, the movement's quite entertaining. Yeah, it it the the, 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 uh, uh, the uh, this game moves very well. I played played some Call of Duty, and the, this game moves like that game a little bit. Mm -hmm. So. Of course, of course, the, of course, the, of course, the jumping aspect being a being a uh, uh, being a uh, uh, space this wizard and everything, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I definitely like more fluid movement. I like having the more ridiculous uh, movement options. That's why I picked Warlock, though. So. Yeah. So if, if if somebody was if, if, if somebody who, who who isn't doing this somebody and somebody somebody hears your story and they see the site and they're like eh, you know I just it just doesn't feel right to me what are some things that you can you can you can tell them I mean it, it there's the whole perception that you know gaming is just full of a bunch bunch of bunch, uh, a bunch of horrible toxic people you know. Um, I don't know if I understand your question. What is... Can you rephrase that? Sure. If somebody who... What, if somebody was actually... Actually, can, somebody who's not working through the site mm -hmm. was was considering doing it. Right. Well, what are some... What are some... Some things that you could tell them to, I guess, I guess put them at ease? Um... I mean... Honestly, if the person is not, if they don't have a thick skin and they're, <clears throat> they take things very personally, I probably would just tell them it's not worth doing. I don't think it's, I don't think it's something that's necessary. It's something that I'm fine with doing in my spare time. Mm -hmm. But as far as like encouraging someone to, I, I think if they're, if they're hesitant about it, I'm not going to encourage them to. I would say okay. if, if they wanted mm -hmm. i guess most of the time it's just like hey i know this mod will get things done um mm -hmm. if you talk to the mods most of the time i haven't really had any issues or alternatively if you have an issue i know these people who also do it if you have questions i would just refer them to other people who are used to it or who have had experience right um those are good people to talk to or just say like hey if you have a problem i'll take care of it 
Um, but I, I think I do that with pretty much any kind of endeavor. So <laughs> it's not really it's not really specific to the site. Right. It's just like everything else, you're gonna have unpleasant people to deal with. You're gonna have to deal with it. And if you don't want to deal with that, there's no reason to do so if you have no desire to. Okay. That's pretty much it. Interesting. Uh, how long did it take you to get to a point? Uh, point from I guess I guess a point monetarily that you were uh, that you were satisfied with it. Um, I think that I was satisfied with it. I mean, just having for someone who especially during quarantine, had no way to make an income, to having a way to make an income, <laughs> I would say, was right. fairly satisfying. Um, but I would definitely count it as sort of pocket change status. Okay. You know, it's not, it's not going to be covering any bills, but if I need to get groceries, it'll probably, like, offset that a little bit. But I don't, I don't rely on it, and I don't look to it as like necessarily a source of all income right, it's more of just like hey here's right. some pocket change i'm Let's just mostly yeah. like i'm just playing games Score with people approach. and it's i probably am not doing a whole lot regardless especially during Let's quarantine when everyone's stuck inside right um so i just look at it that way i suppose okay like if i can if i can make enough if i can make enough to eat a meal i would say is like nice okay. right Cause it's like, yeah, I have to go out for food, I have to go get something to eat, and I guess this... Cause I, I like playing games regardless, so yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of doing that, but now I meet other people, and right. uh, now it can, like, it can pay for, I don't know, some McDonald's or something. Right. Uh, are there, uh, 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 are there people that you know on the site who, who are... Uh, 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 trying to, 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 to turn it into more of a, a money maker. Uh, yes and no. I do know for larger like social personalities, like streamers. Mm -hmm. Um, some of them. I mean, it's actually because they they already are fairly successful at something, which drives more interest in them on the site. But okay. so I would say that they're more successful, but I don't know that they rely on it. Um, but it's definitely in conjunction with, it's just something that they can do in conjunction with their other online activities. And then right. other people who make more, um, be, there's some people who make more that have to deal with, I guess, less savory individuals, sure. but are more willing to put up with a lot. Or, or like, for example, if um, someone requested you play a specific game, that's not on the site, like, you don't have any obligation to play it, but maybe they'll, maybe they're more willing to, hey, okay, is it locked right now? That's yeah. Actually it's um, locked. Okay, nice. Um, but if, if you're, if it's a game, like, maybe it's a really bad game or something, or like, just a terrible game that they want somebody to play with, um, some people just probably will be like, nah, I don't really feel like it, but some people might say, hey, you know, if, if you're willing to pay more for like a game that's awful then yeah they'll play um so some people do that okay um okay um, but i would i would definitely say everyone that i've met that uses it at least as far as i know Maybe maybe one of the streamers kind of uses it to, to supplement what they do on stream, but okay. they don't do anything except dream, I think. Because okay. everyone else I know, typically, like, they have a job, right? They have a day job, or they okay. have something, or they're going to school or something, right? So it's not... Right. It's, it's not even something that they could dedicate an extensive amount of time to, if that makes sense. Um... But some people definitely go at it more than others. Like, there's definitely people who are more engaged with the site. I would say I'm probably not that engaged with the site in the community. Okay. Um, some people, like, some people become mods and stuff like that. But, um, I haven't... I'm not one of those people who is extremely active and extremely, I don't know, say, prolific on the site. Mine is definitely more of a side thing.
I mean, if you wanted to know more about that, you should probably find, like, there's certain girls who are, like, top something, or, like, the top 100, you should probably go over there okay. um, and ask them, because they do it a lot more often. However, I genuinely, like, I genuinely do not know <laughs> how they manage to do that many orders, uh, if I'm being completely honest, just because, you know, playing a game does take time. It's not, and, and like, setting everything up, I guess it's not... It's not terrible, but it's just, it does take time, and I, with, in between, a, like, real life things, or like, work, I do not know how they manage to do it. Right. Uh, so I, I mean, not, not anything wrong with it, but I would assume they probably had less going on, um, in their day to day. Yeah. Especially over the, the last few months. Romeo G with the raid. Romeo, thank you, my friend. Hello, everybody. I am Bill the Conqueror of Raiders. Thanks for being here. I am a variety streamer, and I enjoy all kinds of things about the gaming industry and the content that they make fo uh, focuses on that. I focus on the business and those people who uh, make those decisions. I love how the game is. I love how gaming brings us together and, and, and creates a positive positive connection for a lot of people. I'm currently interviewing somebody from the, from the etile.gg site. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull, uh, pull, pull, pull clips from this interview and post them on YouTube later, obviously, but thank you all for being here. I appreciate it very much. Hey there, what's up? Hello, hello. Killer Bunny and Romeo. Thank you, my friend. You are an awesome individual with the rate of seven. Thank you very much showed up at the right time we got a good interview going about the past hour and a half yeah we've been going an hour and a half playing some destiny 2 talking about what uh basically talking about what it's like to have somebody say hey i'll i'll, I'll pay you a fee to come play, 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 play video games with me you know <laughs> oh also i can't see the chat since i have the game open but you're gonna have to relay that to me. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. somebody asks you a question, I'll let you know. Okay. Yep. Yeah. If somebody asks me a question, I will certainly pass it on. Hey, no problem, Romeo. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you have questions, please ask questions. If you seriously, seriously, if you have questions, ask away. Yeah, that's kind of the point of an interview, no? Yeah, kind of the point. It's, <laughs> it's kind of the point. If anybody in chat has a question, please ask. Mm -hmm. There's someone up here. Okay. There he is right there. Oh, it's time to get me. I'm horrible. Actually. Hmm. I think it's what we do with some damage. Not the worst. Uh, alright. Where is he? 
I don't see him. Oh, I think he's over. Yeah, he's over there. So, 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 so uh, just to recap for people that are just showing up. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a fast recap for people that are just showing up. This is an, inter a, a, an interview with, uh, with, uh, with a person who uses the epal.gg site. I found the site when it was called egirl.gg, and I, it, it has since changed its name, and I can see why, because it the phrase egirl kind of... Uh, kind of uh, um, um, kind of has a a, a, a negative uh, a connotation to it and if you want it to be about gaming and community you have to uh, I guess the the best way to do that is the uh, uh, best way to do that is to come up with a new new word a new phrase so um, so somebody in chat said why do this for why why do this for um, Spending money and spare cash versus versus something else like on like on 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 Twitch. Uh, it's funny you should mention that because um, I actually have or I do stuff on Twitch as well. Right. But I would say that for this, it was just happenstance. It was literally just luck um, because somebody sent me the link and I decided to to try it. Mm hmm. Um, if they hadn't sent it to me and I hadn't heard of it, I probably wouldn't have seen it and probably wouldn't have done it. But it's also the fact that it's, like, online, and I didn't hate the idea of of meeting other people and playing as, as like, mm -hmm. a service. Okay. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, but aside from that, yeah, it was mostly luck. Interesting. So, so do you think... So do you think if there had not... If there had not been a quarantine, do you think that you would have done this? Had there been no quarantine, I would not have done this as actively, and I certainly would not have started streaming if there had not been a quarantine. Okay. Okay. Um, I might have used it every once in a while, but to the extent that I am using it and did use it, no, absolutely not. Okay. 
Because the only reason that I had so much time to do it is because I was indoors all day. Most of the time, I'm generally out and about. Or when, you know, obviously when there's school, you're up and going to school. Right. And you're, you're spending more time on the way there, or you're going to study, or you're going out with your friends. Mm -hmm. But all of that is kind of gone. And, and, and with a lot of my friends, the only way we spend time with each other anyways is through games. Um, right. If we're... If it's an odd time, or like it's late at night, obviously, and you, you, can do, you don't want to go out, right. that's what we would be doing. Um, but since we had no option but to interact virtually, I suppose, it became mm -hmm. much more prevalent. So yes, the quarantine definitely did create this, I guess, environment where it was very likely that I would do this, mm -hmm. and also was the thing that made me start streaming as well. Okay, so for, for, the, for the people that just showed up in chat, so uh, I guess sort of, uh, I guess, 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 tell me again what your friends, friends, uh, uh, friends have thought about when you were doing this. Oh, well, like I said, um, since a lot of my friends are sort of in my age range, like low 20s, I would say, mm -hmm. um, they all are aware of, like, internet culture, I, I guess. Right. And most of them play games. Even if they don't play a lot, they do play games in general. And so mm. it's something where we like to joke about it a lot. But even, <laughs> like, I have a couple of friends who are on ePals. And okay. they seem to be doing fine. And we talk about it, too. And we'll, like, make jokes and stuff. Or if something happens that's really funny, mm. um, we'll share it. Like, I've had, I had one order where it was three, three girls ordered for a group of guys but it was it was in vr chat and it was just all a public room and so it was just a ton of us just memeing and joking around and um <laughs> they 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 had ordered us and didn't really i think they underestimated what they were getting um because we we were joking around so hard that i think two of us were laughing so hard we started crying and and so that was a good time but it's like i knew one of the other people i knew one of the other girls already and then i met this other girl who was actually a mod on the site um so it was a good time mm -hmm. so most of the time you just like laugh about it together especially if they're involved in the community okay okay interesting interesting so and so uh, uh, uh so like i said from the start you know I, 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 if i ask any questions that you don't feel comfortable answering you have full full authority and full reign to say that you don't want to answer it but from that standpoint from the we talked earlier that about 98 percent of the people that you that you that 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 do that do use the site and and, 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 and get your services are, are guys. How, mm -hmm. how often have you been called called a uh, uh, called called unpleasant things? There you go. There, there's a good word. Un Thank you. <laughs> unpleasant unpleasant verbiage. Um, there you go. Okay, good enough. Uh, let me see. So surprisingly, here I'll give you this much. Surprisingly, okay. I have not once been insulted or called a slur that is like related to me being female which is really surprising i have however huh. gotten multiple ones okay. um related to my race so okay. what that means i don't know uh but that's just that's just how it's been i don't think that's indicative of the right. entire site that's obviously a very small sample size i right. just think it's kind of funny that hmm. i've actually not i've not been called any derogatory terms uh related to me being female it's all mostly been either race related or they just are just very they, they get passive aggressive to somewhat aggressive um okay yeah huh. so uh, i'd say maybe maybe a few maybe a few times right most of the time they, they either get like bitter and then leave or huh. something like that but i don't think i don't think um not not actually that frequently because by the time it would get to that i think i generally am already gone or there was one there was one order it's kind of funny because it was the the vr chat order right. where it was a big room and it's more so like un unwanted questions or like unwanted statements in my direction and the one of the people in the room everyone else is pretty cool but they 
they ask me like kind of an insulting question. And in VR chat, what you can do is since everyone has an avatar, everyone, I guess, is like push to talk, sort of, if that makes sense. So it's okay. like an online chat room. Right. Um, so they asked me an unsavory question. I didn't get mad. I was just like, yeah, I don't really want to deal with you. I'm going to block you. And then I blocked them. And then you can't see them on your end. You can't hear them. They okay. might as well not exist right, in the room. Everyone else can. Right. Um, so, you know, like, it's fine. But I heard later that they got very salty about it and just complained for the rest of the night in spite of being the one that asked me, like, a rude question. Right. Um, so that was that was kind of entertaining. <laughs> but again, it's, it's hard to take seriously, you know? <laughs> so, okay, so how many times has someone been salty with you and you've been salty back to them enough to the point where you force them to quit. You think the are alive? Are I I've never gotten salty at anyone and forced them to quit actually. Okay. Um I'm I'd say I'm pretty decent at remaining professional in the face of frustrating it. I actually I think not to toot my own horn, but I'm actually incredibly good at remaining professional in the face of uh unsavory actions and behavior. So to to that's in person, mind you. Like, that's right. dealing with people who are much more significant to my life and general goings-on. So, um, people online who I've only known for maybe, what, 10 minutes? Um, it's really not. Like, I've never gotten salty at somebody. I've, I, I've only ever... Even if I'm not pleased, I don't... I don't get salty. I'm just like, hey, you know, like, I'm not comfortable with that. Or, like, I... Or if they make like a distasteful joke, I'm like, hey, generally find that funny. I don't really like that. Um, I'm not going to. Or generally, it's like a warning. It's like, hey, like don't. I don't like this behavior, and I'm not going to continue to okay. interact with you if you continue this behavior. And that's. I I don't want to exaggerate, but that's pretty much how I how I say it. Like it's not okay. it's not like oh you're you're this or you're that or like I hate you. It's just like hey, right. I don't like this behavior. You know, you, right. you need to stop doing that or I just am not going to interact with you. Right. And I, it's for reasonable things. And you'd be surprised how many people get salty at that. And I've had one person who, they made a joke, for example, about like sending nudes. And I was like, I don't like that. You know, like that doesn't make me feel comfortable. I'm not going to right. talk to you. And they were like, oh, it's just a joke. And it's like, okay, well, clearly not if, it's, if you're getting so upset about it. Um, I was like, well, I didn't find that very funny. And then they got okay. very salty. They are like, good luck with being a girl. And then they blocked me. And I was like, oh, okay, that's okay. fine. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. And it's, it's, it's hard to be mad because it's so, it's usually for ridiculous things. Like that's, it's not like it's hard to be mad because it's rude, because it is. A lot of the time they're quite rude, but it's hard to be mad because it's like how you, you just, it's just such a silly thing. Right. And such odd behavior that it's like I I can't even be mad at this. I'm just going to go do something else now. You know. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, your, your, your whole approach to this is is really fascinating. You, you have a very firm grasp upon. Hey, you know, it, it it this is you know if you handle yourself a certain way and you act professionally and you you know you 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 approach this for what it is. It's uh, 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 actually kind of fun, you know? Yes, exactly. And they're definitely, I would say that, um, I think the positives actually do outweigh the negatives. I mean, besides okay. the fact that it's like, hey, it's a nice way to make pocket change. Um, there's also the fact that, hey, I meet a lot of people that are genuinely, you know, entertaining to talk to. Like I said, I've been on orders where we were laughing so hard that we started crying. And, oh, good. Okay. And, um, and those kind of moments generally outweigh the bad ones just because you have no obligation to deal with it you know yeah. it's just well they're because you know if florida man in florida what's he gonna do you, you don't like how he acts you just you need to lock him or that's it and that's that's really about it that's the end of the story you know yeah yep exactly oh, he went through. ammunition that's not great oh um, he went through Oh, well. well, good, good. I, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm glad that, you know, while, while all of us acknowledge very much how the, uh, how, how the, the, the internet uh, 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 can be very toxic and can be a place mm -hmm. full of people who, you know, say mean things that, that you know, it. In reality, uh, 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 it feels like that there 
feels feels like to me that there are a lot of good people, you know? Then there are. And uh, it's just, like I said, it's hit or miss. A lot of it's luck. A yeah. lot of it, you know, literally it's just... Right. Because sometimes the way the site is now, it lists based on who's online, which obviously makes sense. Like, you're going to try and contact someone who's online at the moment, yeah. Um, but it's just luck. Like, whoever so happens to be online, whoever so happens to be playing this game or is looking for somebody to play with in a specific game, and whoever happens to be online at the same time is who you're going to end up playing with. And whoever that is, you know, that's up to the fates. <laughs> that's right, up right. to you and Lady Luck, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> oh. Swapped back into the chat, so okay. uh, I was able to see. <laughs> I did die, but um. So as far as when quarantine's lifted, will I be doing this less? I would say most likely. I think that's just reasonable to assume. Because one, I'm going to be. I have to start working soon. Right. I will be working, um, and it's going to be a nine to five. So right. obviously that's going to be less time. The only reason I have so much time is it was in, it was sort of an interim period where I yeah. did not have anything going on. Right. Not for a lack of things to do, it's just not quite the timing of it was not <laughs> quite right. Right, right. Um, and I do stream and I do enjoy that and I yeah. will continue to, but I don't have any. I can't. I can't schedule anything, which is the issue, is because of how much traveling and sorting things out I've been doing. Like, that's why, that's another reason I can't have a consistent, I suppose, order schedule. Okay. It's just because I was traveling so much and like, I had school at one point and then I didn't have school and now I don't have school, but then work is starting, but I'm also going to be moving soon. So, right. you know, it's not realistic to set any kind of schedule. Um, but once, a nine to, once I have a nine to five, like solid 40 hour job, um, it'll probably be relegated mostly to if I have time, and I, I'm not too concerned about it, because uh, I think I'll probably be doing more streaming than anything. Right. Um, in that case, um, and if I, and as far as the question of like, are there people that I've befriended on the site? Yes, there are actually there are people I've befriended on the site. Um, it just depends. It just depends on how they are and how chill they are, I guess. Right. Okay. Interesting chill's, question. Chills. Chills not a great word. Um, it really just depends on the person, and there's also this... How do I explain it? There's times where I cannot physically answer everybody who is messaging me or asking to play, and I, um, for the most part, if I meet somebody online and they want to play, um, I will generally... Like, sometimes if I have to, if I have an order, I'll be like, hey, you know, like, I can't have an order. And most people are like, fine, yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, because I will, sometimes I'll prioritize orders, but if I'm tired, I will prioritize my sanity over orders. That's kind of sure. how it goes. Sure. And I think that's reasonable. Yeah. Um, insofar as, like, regulars, I do have people who play more often with me, but uh, at the same time, like, I do continue, like, I could have a mix of, like, people who I play with regularly versus people who I meet, mm -hmm. uh, I guess you could say in the wild, right. or people that I, I meet, uh, sporadically. Uh, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, okay. And most people understand, though, because 
I don't mind. Like, if I had all the time in the world, right? If I had a million hours in the day, right. I probably wouldn't mind just playing and, like, if I have something to do, like, come back and then play more. But realistically, people get tired and, you know, I have my own things to do, so I just genuinely can't play with everyone or respond to everyone. Like, there were times where I would wake up to some dozen odd, or, like, dozens of notifications, and I just can't get through them all, really. Um, so sometimes it takes me a while to respond to people or get things done, just because I can't get through every single notification yeah. in a reasonable length of time. But so far people have been fairly understanding of that. Good, good, good. Okay, that's it, I think. That's that's our that's that's pretty much our uh, uh, agreed upon uh, time right there. It's about two hours, so uh, okay. it's been a really really enlightening conversation about what what things are like out there. I'm I'm uh, I'm extremely extremely grateful for for the opportunity to to chat with you. No problem, and uh, thanks for having me. Yeah. Is there anything, anything last minute, any last minute throw out questions or anything? Um, uh, I don't, I don't see anything that hasn't, uh, hasn't, uh, oh. hasn't, hasn't popped up in the past couple of minutes. Yeah, you pretty much answered them all. If I guess if 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 people want to know more, they can go to go to the site, which is, which is, which is um, which is. Which is um, which is which is um, epal dot gg, and they can uh, see what what the 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 site is all about, and 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 just and just for everybody in chat, I specifically okay specifically we didn't talk about names, we didn't get to a, you know we didn't get into any personal information because I don't want trolls, and I know that you know we 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 kind of we sort of sort of danced around some topics and. And you know, there's 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 no reason to get into uh, salacious details because that that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't really serve anybody. If it, you know, for me, this has been about the story of you know, what's that like? Why do this? Is it is it something that you know? Is it something that's viable or just something you kind of do or things like that? So, so, so thank you very much for. Uh, 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 the whole conversation, whole conversation. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that. So no problem. And I think you had one more question from chat. Uh, oh. Just how am I today? How are you uh, today? I, <laughs> I am doing quite well. Thank you for asking. I hope you are also having a great day. Yes, uh, I'm having a good one. Good, good to hear. 
Good stuff. Well, hey, thank you very much for much for making time for me today. I, I appreciate it very much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'll leave you to it, and then wish everyone else has a great day and stay hydrated. I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in today. You can find links to everyone on the show in the description below. Check out Bill the Conqueror on Twitch and Twitter to stay up to date on his thoughts and ideas about gaming culture. 